Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the filtering of long data sequences. Filtering of long data sequences. So, in fact, so consider a linear system uh, where the input x of n goes through a linear system with the impulse response h of n and the corresponding output is y of n. Here, there is in practical uh, applications, x of n can be a very long data sequence. That is, can be x of n can be very long. So, in other words, in practice, uh, involving linear filters, x of n is often very long. That is, this is in practice. Uh, the input x of n uh, to a linear system or a linear filter can be very long. That is, the input itself uh, can be of very long uh, length. So, how do we apply uh, filtering to that long data sequence? That is the question we want to answer. So, a, a, sim a simple example is real time signal processing. That is, for example, it could be a simple speech processing application or a biological signal processing application where we are getting our data continuously from a sensor, but we cannot process the whole data because we have access only to a limited amount of data uh, for a given time. So, we have to process blocks of data that is, so because of this reason that is we are talking about long data sequences, we have to the linear filtering using DFT that is uh, we can actually do this operation frequency domain that is we apply DFT uh, method for finding the uh, output of a linear filter. So, linear filter using DFT method must be done that is must be applied on simple or a finite amount a finite length block of data that is a block of input data. So, that what it really means is we uh, even though x of n is very long we only consider small amounts of or small chunks of x of n and then uh, apply this linear filtering and then we get a small chunk of the output and then we can uh, combine all the uh, smaller outputs to the larger output. So, what happens is the long data is first segmented into fixed size and then the linear filter is applied. Since the filtering process, since the filtering process is a linear process, is a linear process, we can actually uh, do this segmentation and still uh, able to get, uh, still we are able to get the right output. This is feasible. This kind of segmented operation is feasible. So, let us look at the overall process. It is given the input sequence, it is x of n. Then the first step is to do segmentation. So, this uh, filtering of long data sequence can be uh, summarized by this block diagram that is we have the input sequence x of n and then we apply some kind of segmentation on this x of n and then we get the input blocks we apply DFT so that we have uh, the DFTs of this uh, input blocks and then we multiply these DFTs with the DFT of the uh, h of n that is uh, of the, uh, the impulse response of the filter we apply DFT we get h of k so we multiply h of k with uh, this uh, x m of k that is x m of k that is m uh, that is the dft of mth block and then we get the y m of k that is we get the mth block of the output and then we come uh, we apply idft uh, we get y m of n that is the uh, output blocks in time domain and then we concatenate them properly so that we get the actual output so that is the overall process and for uh, this segmentation and concatenation there are two methods that is two methods exist the first one is overlap save and the second one is overlap add second one is overlap add so by using these two methods uh, we can do this segmentation and the, and the whole process and again concatenation properly thus we can do uh, for linear filtering of a long data sequence so in this video we have looked at the filtering of long data sequences that is given an input x of n and a linear filter with impulse response h of n we have to find the output y of n here the key issue is the x of n can be very very long so that means uh, the main issue is we do not have access to the whole of a whole of x of n at any given time so only chunks of x of n are available 
so, so for example real time signal processing applications so that means the, the linear filtering using dft method can be applied here uh, and it should be applied on blocks of input data that is available so the here the main challenge is how do we divide this input data so that the process is efficient so the idea is long data we have long data we have to segment it and then we divide it into and that means we have to divide it into fixed size blocks since the filtering process itself is a linear process this operation is possible or feasible so this block diagram uh, summarizes the whole operation it is given the input sequence x of n we apply some kind of segmentation that means we divide it into input blocks and then we apply dft we get the dfts of these blocks and then we multiply those dfts with the dft of the h of n that is the impulse response so we multiply them basically with the h of k so uh, and then the product itself is the segments of the output in frequency domain so then uh, we apply inverse dft on these segments we get the segments of the actual output in time domain and then we have to concatenate them according to uh, the process we have done in segmentation so based on the process of segmentation so we get the right output y of n there are two methods for this kind of uh, lo uh, filtering long data sequences these are overlap save and overlap add we will learn them in a next video thanks for watching